Hello and welcome back to another episode of Saving Your Disaster Campaign, The Avengers Shutdown, the collaboration between Tapcat and Saiken. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing and potentially finishing this uh, Saving Your Disaster Campaign. I will need to speak with Tapcat afterwards, but I think the campaign is more or less safe if we look at uh, the overall uh, situation. Yes, the Avatar project can rise again. And yes, we do have a bit of intel that would need to flow into essentially establishing that region. But in a nutshell, if we get more intel, we can make contact, then build the um, radio tower here, and then make one more contact down here, got the next facility. And from there on, it's uh, pretty much straightforward. Uh, the other option would be to go via here, to here and essentially get the other two facilities keep in mind there's always facility leads that you could also get so we're definitely not out of the picture this campaign looks very healthy we also now got armor upgrades and such today we're going to play a sabotage of the transmitter operation hell god which is a fun name and tapcat gave me uh, take that aka rapier which is uh, going to be one of our mechs uh, he seemed to have been falling in love with them and there's nothing wrong with max prophet is helping them as well so mind shield templar good combination goes together like curry and rice uh, and noodles uh, pasta and uh, tomato sauce so it, it's really a good combination and other than that we got our main team sniper upgrade as well plus finally a couple more slots to work with we got the school check uh, we got a an interesting acid grenade so it's good we got a mimic beacon right here um, that is equally interesting and tapcat uh, just like i uh, like uh, tracer rounds they are good for our uh, less accurate uh, folks uh, the grenadiers can definitely benefit from them personal combat sims we got still got the mobility one going and we have a bit of a weapon upgrade here i wonder why he hasn't uh, been giving her the better weapon we have quite a few weapon upgrades i don't know if it would be violating violating what we were trying in this campaign where he's basically equipping and I'm just playing with uh, whatever we do have but let me just suggest the following okay so superior autoloader too good to not uh, use that it's just a fantastic um, add-on for any gun and typically I would go with a, a scope up here laser sight isn't bad either hair trigger definitely is a good one Stock is not bad either, specifically since we're often missing something. I'll just go with uh, the hair trigger here, since it's the last mission, might as well go all out. And in terms of personal combat sims, how about... Oh, he already has condition, well that's good, good for him. Our ranger doesn't have mobility, so might as well give it to him. And by the way, Tapcat has again not given him the shard gun, so I wonder why that is. Let me just hand over that. It's okay, I'll, I won't change more. It's just a question of why wouldn't you replace that? And we put in an autoloader here as well for multiple reasons. Mainly when we're running into code uh, codexes, Having an autoloader is just so incredibly helpful. It allows you to immediately react, then get out of the psionic bomb, and uh, then kill the codex uh, without losing time. Let's land and bring this mission home. Good landing, and we are all amped up to get that last mission going. Oh, I like transmitter missions. They are close calls and typically a lot of action. Prophet. You have my trust. Moves up. 
We're seeing the first enemies. Okay, cool. I like it. Uh, can't stand in the open. That is unfortunately not okay. But we could move as far as possible, which isn't that far. Should have moved a bit further. High ground with a spark. Aggressive move in with our grenadier. Jester takes kind of a second line. Could move up here next turn or simply take that position. And we're aggressively moving in. Objective sighted. Interesting situation when well, we're far, far, far away from everything. But we do have a few tricks up our sleeves, don't we? Eyes on a hostile patrol. Well, look at that. If I would really want to cause trouble, boy, that would be the perfect time to do so. We got a timer here. We got something over there. So that's two rounds uh, that we could work with. Closing down. The path is clear. I think what I would want to do is we're losing concealment. That's fine for me. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Proceeding to target. But what we gain out of it is one more round of being able to position at uh, the right uh, level. This is straight up um, shooting through the door. We got enough overwatch. If the enemies are now coming in, we would be able to at least kill one of them. The advent captain would serve our purposes nicely. If he can be disabled. I see them trying to flank. Well, look at that. Time to be greedy. There we go, buddy. We have complete access to the advent psionic network. I have dedicated Got some intel on top of it. Good job. We will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they Well, do you remember how I mentioned uh, we might run into Slight issues with a codex. Damn right. That is materializing now. Time to get rid of some of the walls. Wow, Rainmaker is just creating so much space. Moving up, potentially triggering more packs. Well, let's talk about multiple enemies that we trigger. Trigger the entire map, a classical Psyken. Good part about uh, doing that is you don't need to worry about triggering more. So 
So the aliens are like, so you have chosen death. And are now trying to get us down. I see little melee vulnerability. That's good. Can we hit this guy? No. Well, that's a failure. Is it clear? So we're being spotted out, but it's not a surprise. That could be a kill. Oh yeah, very nice. Going on with a mutant. Nice hit. It's good. So we got three over here. We could hit a couple of the troopers. 60% to kill the mutant. The other option could be basically explode all of that, which means we need to use momentum in order to get further away. Generally not a problem. Good, let's do this first. This here is indestructible terrain, so we'll get a kill and a mutant freeing up on top of it. Which then leads into teamwork. And we would be ready to actually kill the mutant. Nice. And then finally, how about putting a mimic beacon out? The panic beacon, as they call it. Should absorb two shots. Oh, I remember this is unmodded legendary. It absorbs even three. Okay, cool. Yeah, and my current campaign that would have lasted one shot. And remember how I spoke about the Psionic Bomb? Okay, cool. Because now what we can do is we can run gun Move all the way to here. Free reload. And that could be a kill or at least a heavy damage. Before we're getting too excited. One. Okay. Ah, uh, that's just one. Could get rid of that codex, but it won't solve our problems here. So before we do something. Let's work on our issues here, shall we? Moves up. Finishes the codex.
Move up. Hits, but doesn't kill the trooper. Unfortunately, our weapon isn't that good yet. Which brings us to the next point, our living mimic beacon. It's more focused. And we're parrying right here. This could be a kill, not necessarily, but it could. Uh, nice little hit, but unfortunately just one damage shy of uh, actually killing. Perry. And this hopefully a miss. There we go. Disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. Alright, we're moving, out. moving up. All right, I'll go. I could always go back into hiding or move on. Either way is fine. Good, we're continuing. Profit here continues to just parry. Rapid reload in progress. Affirmative. Moves up. Absolutely. And let's try to hit. Very nice, very nice hit and the crit on top of it. Getting a better slot and to make sure that we're... I'm just buying us more time here. We can and will kill that guy. Okay, we still have one more pack of aliens to go through. All right, back. Needed to take a short break to finish uh, the mission. And the name of the game now is Move Up Without What's Disturbing the Aliens Too Much. As such, we do the age old trick of everybody moves first before we're going to do anything Running. good I think superior autoloader here means we don't need to reload immediately it's going to give us some more time here we're going to use scanning protocol because that's pretty damn good. Tells us that there is one pack, uh, which indeed is the alien ruler. Interesting development. I'll lead the way. That means we can conceal and move up. Two shots are not enough, I will reload here. And our spark moves all the way over to here. Three rounds. taking a free reload uh, from here 
And this time, I would like to kill uh, the alien ruler. It would be a pleasure to finish this chapter. Good, we're moving up. A couple of overwatches, really. Because there is a chance that they will come through the door. Good, like I mentioned, we're getting ready to invade. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. If they move around the corner or through the door, we'll get a huge drop on them. Good. Two more turns and we need to make sure that we're actually going to... succeed on the mission first everything else can happen afterwards we got our side trip to conceal so might as well want to do that to take it out this time, don't worry. Yeah, we're not going to take a 60% shot. Instead, profit. It's going to start hitting the Viper King very likely going to be bound afterwards. Moving up. Killing the Viper. Giving us another round. We're not picking up any more of those relays. That's all the time we're going to then killing the Viper. Talking. Running and gunning. Opening the door. Ta-da! We got him. I said a crit would be good. Exactly. That's how we like it. This should not trigger anything. And we're overwatching. Okay, it gets one turn. And there we go. We're not picking up any other contacts. Get those charges deployed. The king is down. Good work, people. It's over. All right, success, and we got a Viper King on top of it. Not even took damage. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Advent City 7. 
good. With the Advent, uh, mm, not Advent, uh, Viper King suit, I think it is fair to conclude that this mission here has uh, put the entire campaign pretty much back on track. We even got a couple of promotions here. We're now nearing the higher ranks, in that case, captain and so on. Threat assessment, really excellent. Heavy ordnance, also good. We can get holo targeting as well. And we got bond level upgrades available. Look at that, Elarium core, advanced stocks. Quite a few things actually, plus 20 intel. And we reduced the avatar project even further. It's now down to, uh, down by five. It is my hope so look i think I will gain an even greater understanding all things considered this campaign really could be considered safe excellent work commander what would be the next steps let's just play that mentally out and uh, derive a couple of learnings from it so tapcat has put the data pad in here which is good that gives us enough to get all the way down to australia we got enough Elarium for Elarium, which then gives us yet another um, armor upgrade. We do have the Viper King Autopsy, which certainly is, is a good one. Uh, this is the time in the day where I would also do the turret breakdown research for, uh, for the defense matrix, just so that we cannot be shut out that easily overwhelmed. If we look at the armory and uh, just the overall theme of it, right? So we got a really strong A team with uh, either of these rangers essentially being there. Got a couple of sparks to support as and when needed. That's also always good to have that uh, kind of versatile fire support. But generally speaking, <coughs> having that many captains and lieutenants plus sergeants at this point, it's a healthy pool that you can choose uh, from. In terms of guerrilla tactics school, I would potentially take <coughs> mentally uh, awake soon and Hunter's Instinct biggest booms. These are typically the one, the class ones that uh, make the biggest difference. In terms of training, uh, we already have quite a few skills on the prime uh, team, so that is good. I think that is fine. Research-wise, we're definitely back on track. Uh, we are no longer behind. The next steps here would potentially be hunting the chosen, uh, to be entirely honest, to uh, to get there. Maybe a break, a breakthrough research here and there, but essentially getting into the <coughs> strongholds and then. Uh, finishing them on the strategic layer clearly the avatar project had been an issue beforehand but it's currently paused mental fortitude is an incredibly potent continent bonus so the next step would be to get this continent <coughs> and with it uh, a new factory that will allow us to reduce the avatar project as and when needed so that's really a good a very very good um, uh, development on the geoscape overall speaking i think listen we're definitely okay we can build the shadow chamber and also push the game very much forward there's an uh, there is a way of uh, getting to north america um, great resolve isn't too bad but it's not super good either armor projects okay metal fortune certainly the best continent bonus that i've seen so far and yeah getting to the other facilities there's always a uh, facility uh, there are always a couple of facility um, uh, leads available either in the black market or via covered ops missions so that uh, i wouldn't stress too much uh, getting the entire world I mean, look, there are other good things. Scientists could definitely be one of the things that you are buying at um, at this point. Superior Expanded Magazine is the fine uh, purchase. But yeah, potentially I would spend the into... Our soldiers took some hits during the most recent covert action. But word from the medical team is they'll all be fine. Yeah, potentially I would spend the intel for other stuff. 
Just doing that. And that. And a bit of that. Good, but look, overall, I think uh, the campaign can be considered uh, saved. It's in way more safe territory. Learnings out of it is don't get too hung up on being shut down early. If you are being shut down, try to, uh, if, if that ends your campaign regularly, try to get the defense metrics because it makes your life so, so much easier. It was a bit of an unfortunate turn of events. As always, don't get sidetracked with all of the other research. Get weapons and armor first. Uh, these are by far the most important improvements for your campaign. And other than that, I think these were the main learnings out of it. Oh yeah, and don't, under no circumstances, uh, always pick the wrong skills. Really look through a couple of uh, playthroughs. And if you're struggling with what you're currently doing, and there is a very good chance that what you're doing is uh, not working well. Seeing combat protocol and haywire protocol skilled over healing protocol and stabilize always makes me cringe because it just shows that someone has taken bad advice for beginner players and and is struggling with the, uh, with their campaign as a result of it. So. Maybe watch some of uh, the videos and, and see the power of these uh, the, the correct choice abilities in action um, and test around a little bit more with uh, the abilities that you are skilling. Sometimes just testing the opposite also gives you an appreciation for what you're missing. Just a train of thought there. All right, that's it from my end. I hope you liked the collaboration. If you did, leave a comment uh, down below. Um, I'm still looking for feedback to see whether or not this could be a more ongoing thing. Um, and I wish you a pleasant day after this disaster campaign has been rescued. Take care and bye-bye.